Hello everyone! So today's video is just a quick one before I go to work. So basically I'll just explain what I know about coronavirus and why, why it's important for you to stay home. So just stay tuned. So my main message to start with is let's reduce the panic and increase our responsibility. Each of us has a part to play in this. It's certain that there was a big boom of new positive cases arising and that's due to two main reasons. One, the virus spreads really easily. Another one, there was an increased number of kits available to detect the virus as well. So that contributed too. Uh, then another fact is that the coronavirus was in the past already transmitted from animals to humans. And let's say this just affected like one country in the past or a few countries. Uh, so the virus was not spreading as easily, but those forms of coronavirus, they were killing way more people. So there was a rate of mortality around 30% or more in a few cases, whilst this time our coronavirus is just killing 2-3% to of the patients. So those are good news. And why the, this form of virus is a bit um, safer, if we can say it this way. Because in the past, the virus would really reach the lungs easily, whilst this time they struggle a little bit more to reach our lungs. So, a positive side to it. So, let's talk a little bit about the pathophysiology, so you understand the symptoms behind the COVID-19. So, the coronavirus, it can affect, it, if it goes further and affects our lungs, it can affect the cilia, and basically the cilia is responsible to protect our lungs, and by destroying this protection, these cells in our lungs, then it causes inflammation, and inflammation leads to damage, and then damage leads to more inflammation, so that's when it gets severe. But in most cases, this doesn't happen, and people just have some symptoms that I will talk about, and then they recover in like 7 to 10 days. So, the most common symptom is fever. Uh, so the research and looking at the numbers shows that 88% of the patients will show fever. Then almost 70% of the cases, uh, the patients will show a dry cough, whilst like around 30% of the cases there will be some phlegm production. And also, again for severe cases, there can be a shortness of breath and this happens in about 18% of the cases and in some of them people may recover, in others it can develop to a respiratory disease and get to pneumonia. Alright, uh, so basically there are some vaccination being developed and tested, so hopefully in the future we'll have some vaccine to tackle all this coronavirus, but until then we need to get other solutions, other measures. And the unique one that can really help us all is self-isolation as much as possible. So, uh, self-isolation is key because we don't get in contact with people that is infected and keep the disease being transmitted. Um, so it's really important as well to wash the hands really often and also clean and disinfect all the surfaces that you use on a daily basis. So, main message, stay at home and stay safe. Uh, at home, I have a few suggestions that can keep you busy for a while. So just watch series. I've got three suggestions for you. There is Ragnarok, which is a Norwegian series. It's really interesting. There is uh, Lock and Key, which is kind of a Harry Potter mixed with Stranger Things kind of series. Uh, and there is also another one, The Outsider, which is quite interesting. Just grab a book as well that you want to read for a while. Try to not be worried because if you are at home, you are safe, so you don't be, you don't have reasons to be worried about it. Um, just exercise and drink plenty of liquids as well. That's really, really important. Overall, just stay home and stay safe. And whilst you are home, why not to subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video if you enjoyed it. See you soon.